Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lovato. How long does it take to open your franchise business, to open the doors, to start being able to collect money? Well, great question. Glad you asked it. The answer is it depends on the type of business you buy. Now, I'm not talking about the time it takes to choose a franchise, hopefully one that's right for you, to figure out your budget, to do a net worth statement, to do your research, to hire an attorney, to apply for a loan, all that stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about after you've done everything and you have signed on the dotted line and said yes to the franchise opportunity you were interested in. Once you do that, how long will it take for you to open the doors? Here's how long, all right? Now, there are two types of franchise businesses generally. The first type is a home-based business. If you end up buying a home-based business, the good news is you can be in business pretty darn fast. Figure after you sign the franchise agreement, about two months and you are in business. That takes uh, into account time for getting to franchise headquarters for training, maybe doing some pre-training online, um, uh, learning about the business, learning about the operations manual, all the stuff you need to do, uh, including registering your business uh, uh, online if need be, depending on your community. Now, that is for a home-based business. If it's a business where people come in and see you, whether it's a food franchise, a restaurant, or a retail franchise, it's gonna take longer. A couple of reasons. First of all, it's gonna take you a while to find the location. Now, in a perfect world, your franchisor has a real estate department, and together you will both seek out the right location for your business. That's gonna take a couple of months. Then you have to factor in negotiating with the landlord. That's gonna take eh, anywhere from two weeks to a month once, once you've decided on things uh, uh, that are appropriate for both sides and that are hopefully affordable for you. Once you do that, usually you have to hire an architect to help you design your space, and then you have to hire carpenters, et cetera, to do the actual build out, adding the shelves, the counters, and signage, all that kind of stuff. So if you're going to uh, uh, own a franchise that is a retail, uh, a franchise or a food franchise where people are coming in to see you, figure three to six months approximately before you are actually open for business and let's lean towards six months. So the entire process from beginning to end for after you sign the franchise agreement is anywhere from two to six months depending on the type of business you buy. It's important to know ahead of time how long it's going to take before you start being able to collect revenue and make money because that's probably the major reason you want to be your own boss. Thanks for listening. Now, if you have any questions about uh, the lease, the build out, hiring carpenters, uh, what kind of signs you're going to end up needing, etc., contact me, joel at thefranchiseking.com, or I'm going to link to my contact form below. If you have any question about franchising, Give me a call, or in this case, an email. You can call me, too, if you want. But uh, uh, give me an email, uh, joel at thefranchiseking.com. Send it on over, any questions you have, and I'll be happy to answer them. If I can't, I will send you to someone who can. Once again, I'm Joel Ababa, the Franchise King. And go to thefranchiseking.com for more information.